I've acquired the technology to record videos in real life without my shaky hands ruining everything. So I, of course, right away decided that I have to use it. Today we're going to be doing a in-paper deck profile of one of my favorite decks, which is the Neospatian Diva Hero list I topped RBCT with. Um, yeah, I showed this on the channel a couple of weeks ago. I think the list is basically unchanged from then, but I just wanted to do a more in-depth discussion and, of course, show off some shiny cardboard if you were an appreciator of that. So let's get into it. First off, we have the boss monsters. Dad, Zork, and uh, to a lesser extent, these guys. Uh, Gorus Track, just good cards. I play them with pretty much everything. Uh, Dad, Zork are really nice in here. This deck enables them a lot um, in terms of being able to convert contact, set up Zork, or, you know, um, Arma, send Porter, get uh, Dark Panther. That's three darks for Dad. Um, in general, I think this... Uh, this version of Diva Hero supports the sort of dark package a lot better than the regular one. The regular one, it always feels kind of awkward uh, if you draw these hands with like Dad plus Snowman Eater or Miracle plus Arma Dad or, you, you know, there's like this weird sort of non-synergy conflict between the water stuff and the dark stuff and it just doesn't quite fit right. I think this build is a lot more streamlined and make that, makes that stuff fit better in terms of enabling your ceiling plays with these boss monsters. Uh, next we have the heroes. So we've got Stratos plus Alias. Uh, Alias is mainly here as the other hero because he's a light, and uh, it's helpful to have another searchable light to turn on Chaos Sork. Then of course you've got double destiny hero Malicious because it's Diva hero and because you have to play that. Uh, finally, we also play Plague with Arma, as I mentioned. Dark Package, generally a, bit, a lot better in here. The main point of synergy being, of course, this card, which is Cross Porter. Cross Porter is a Dark Warrior. Uh, it has an effect when it's sent to the graveyard. You can add a Neospatian from your deck to your hand, which is really nice. It turns your Armageddon Knight into a Stratos for a Neospatian. turns your Foolish Burial, burial into a Rota for a Neospatian. And, of course, it's another Dark Monster, which means it uh, synergizes with your sort of boss monsters. Finally, on to the Spatians. We have one Grandmal, the best one, the Pesky Boy. Just an amazing card, honestly. Just so independently awesome to have. Uh, I think the Neo Spatian package uh, provides a lot of interesting utility that helps with matchups that Diva Hero historically struggles with. I think Diva Hero is great against aggro decks. Uh, it probably date kept Blackwings for a while, which is why we didn't see too much Blackwings do well in Ribbit 1, because Diva Hero was everywhere. Um, but it struggles more with, like, control decks, like quick draw and stuff, and I think this uh, build has a lot more tools to deal with that. Grand Mole being one of them, of course, just putting back flip monsters is very nice. Also, uh, Aqua Dolphin. Aqua Dolphin is a water-type monster, so you can use it. You don't have to play any other waters. You can just have constant setup for Miracle Fusion, which is amazing. He also has an effect that lets you, like, essentially confiscate from your opponent's hand. It's not that broken, but, you know, you discard a card, you look at their hand, and you get to rip a card if you have a monster with enough attack points. Very good against stuff like Quick Draw that plays a lot of low attack stuff. Uh, Dark Panther. Dark Panther is situationally very awesome as well. If they have like a Dad or Brianak or even something else weird out like Cyber Dragon or Sirocco. Uh, definitely can do some cool stuff with Dark Panther. And of course he's a Dark, which is very helpful. We also play Glomoss. Glomoss sucks, but it's a light, so that's why we're playing it. Uh, you don't need any more. You just need these four. Um, you have tons of ways of searching them with like Sangan, Cross Border, Foolish Send, Cross Border, Rota Search, Arma, Rota Search, uh, Aqua Dolphin, Arma Send, Cross Border. You know, you have effectively like seven to nine ways of getting Spatians to your hand for contact, and you can pretty much always resolve the first two, so you don't need to play more than this, uh, any more than that, and you're just gonna be breaking too much. Uh, finally, we play the Divas with Gilman. I only play one Gilman because I'm not a madman. Um, no shade intended with that statement but there's people out there playing two gilman and i don't get it um but whatever sangan sangan's really great in diva decks um it's pretty good in this one too searches you know all of the spatian stuff pretty much you want grand mole you can get grand mole you want Armonite to set up a plague play or a mali play you can get that you want to search mali pitch it for wing blast you can do that there's just a lot of really cool stuff you can do with sangan in here so it's a great card and it's another dark monster as well uh, spells, we got a ton of draw power, uh, three convert contacts. This is the main reason you're playing the Spatian stuff in the first place. It lets you uh, essentially turbo through your deck, set up your ceiling plays, draw a bunch of cards. Um, really, really nice. Also play a lore for additional draw power. Uh, Rota, 
standard. I mean, get Stratos, get Arbonite, amazing card. Foolish, play this in this version of Diva Hero because you can send Cross Porter, and that's really nice. Uh, Future Fusion and Miracle Fusions, uh, shouldn't need too much explanation for those. Those are just awesome cards that make the deck work. Help you get out Ab Zero, which is a crazy boss monster reason you played the, the deck in the first place. Also got Staples, so Brain, Heavy, MST, Trap Dust Shoot, Mirror Force, uh, Torrential, Psalm Judgment, and three Phoenix Wing Wind Blast to round out the trap lineup. I love Wing Blast as a card. Uh, and here it's great, of course. You got the Stratos and the Mali set it up. You've also got a second Stratos, effectively, in the form of Armonite. So really good card. Really, really good card. Uh, out suppression and stuff. Uh, just problem solves, deals with whatever. It's generic removal. So, yeah. Finally, the extra deck. Let's go through the uh, fusions first. We got three ab zeros. Uh, no surprises here. You got to play them. Gaia. You can conceivably somehow make this, I think. Grand Mole's in the deck. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can definitely make this. Occasionally it comes up maybe for game shots. And Fortress Dragon, of course, as the last fusion monster. Now, onto the synchros. We play all of the level eights. So, um, yeah, just all of them. You're making level eight all the time. These are the best ones. You got to play them. Black Rose Dragon, it's the only seven you play. You rarely go seven, but if you're gonna go seven, this is the one you play. A couple sixes, just the broken ones, of course, and a couple fives, because you play Diva Gilman. Uh, we don't play Armory Arm, unfortunately, not enough room. Can't really make it too easily. Uh, it doesn't really come up, so it's not a big deal. Also, don't play Mistworm, which comes up even less. So, yeah, extra deck's kind of cramped, but we just play all of the, the best cards that we can fit in those slots. Anyway, that was the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Might. I'm thinking of doing another one pretty soon, so let me know if you like this type of video. It's not going to be like a full-time sort of content thing on my channel. It's just maybe an every now and then kind of treat, so uh, give the video a like if you liked it, and I'll see you next time.